And now, ready to make his way to the ring from the red nice corner, Alvin Davey. And here comes Alvin Davey to the room. Four knockouts, got some power, three-time national gold glove Jimmy. champion. Should be a good fight. We'll find out like what those two losses are about. We'll see if he's got it. Maybe a Let's chin. I don't know. We'll see when, when he gets in here. We'll, see. Okay, we'll know in a couple um, minutes. He's walking to the ring right now. The fight was a loss after that great amateur career. Yeah, That's the weird part. Right so he got he, he lost his debut professional fight back in 2016 by a fourth round KO. Yeah. So he lost the guy at Cruiserweight. Then he got a little fat there. He fought as a heavyweight in 2020. Uh. Sure. Uh -huh. Look, one loss in your boss. career, Be you know, you especially by knockout, could really, really change the trajectory loss, of where you're going. Now you look at this kid, Nice come to the ring. Big kid. Big kid. Looks like he's got some power. We'll find out. What do you have the stats on what he weighed in, Anna? Alvin? with the black god father and if you can't take an order then your ass is out of order i fell in love with hitler's daughter but not because what i bought her because the real shit i taught her we made waves in that water it came back like dope she was trying to rock the boat her last nigga drowned i ain't even need a flow yeah, since she said you here. really love me let me see what's in your throat you were dealing with the young black sergeant I got the Ladies and gentlemen from the Miami Airport Convention Center in Miami, Florida, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Road Warrior Promotions. Scheduled for six rounds of professional boxing in the heavyweight division. Heavyweight fight, my bad. The three judges scoring at ringside. Gloria yeah, Martinez Rizzo, Christian Diaz, and Mario Perez Jr. So they are heavyweights. Yeah. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, Alan A. Bellies. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with a white trim. He weighed in at 218 pounds, a veteran of four professional bouts. From Waukegan, Illinois, here is Johnny Jackson. His opponent fighting He's out of the red way, corner, wearing the Johnny pink Jackson. trunks with white and blue trim. He weighed in at 208 pounds. His professional record, five wins, two losses, four wins by way of knockout. Representing so New Life Boxing Gym from Miami, bigger. Florida, is here is Alvin Davey. Local boys, local. All right, guys, I gave you the yeah, instructions like in the locker room. Miami, Florida. My he's based local. here, fights time. out of you Hialeah up, at KO Fitness. So I think Antonio Tarver would have a problem with him taking the name Magic Man, but we'll find out. You know, I'm going to make a prediction that this fight's going to end a little bit earlier than the other ones. I'm feeling but, but you never know. Long jab, long, good jab, right off the bat. You really shouldn't go to the body against a shorter guy. Keep him at bay. He should keep him at exactly what he's doing. It's a perfect job, you know. Jab, three punches. Beautiful jab, beautiful, beautiful. I think he could make cruiserweight, and he only has a few more pounds to lose, which would be easy for him. Yeah, he's definitely got, he definitely has uh, every advantage. Now, that's it. Right hand yeah. rocked him right away. Holding on for dear life. Johnny's holding on for dear life, and that's what he should be doing, actually. Referee breaks them up, looks at them, puts them back. Following up. Yeah, this is not gonna last hook. long. Beautiful hands, holding out for dear life. Maybe this thing will make it out of the first round. Doesn't look like it, but no, he's, nice he's rocked. This nice. kid doesn't stand a chance. I see the referee stopping the fight in the first round. Most likely, he's not going to go to the distance. 
He'll be he'll be eating some rigatoni vodka at La Locanda sooner than he thought. Corner telling him not to rush, but he's excited. He's in there. He's got the experience. Big, strong. He knows he, his opponent doesn't have a chance. He wants to put him out with a, with a big shot. You can feel that the kill is close. He wants to go. Yeah. Got to be patient, but don't drop your hands. Do what you do. You know, he has six rounds to get work. I got a little bit of work, you know, on the... Otherwise, if we get him out of the picture in the first round, he doesn't even have anything to go for, you know? Well, he knows Jackson. He knows he can't be hurt. All he's going to do is hold. He knows he has no power. He's got a, a guy who should probably be a, a 175 up to blowing up to 215. He's coming in. So unless he has a real glass chin, he's got nothing. He's, you can tell he's getting cocky now. He's trying to put on a show. You can tell he's confident. It's just a matter of time. Matter of time, like you said. No doubt. Matter of time. Looks like Davey's smothering himself a little bit. If he uses that, that long range that he's got, the long arms, and he's a much bigger, quicker fighter, stronger fighter. But he's smothering himself in some of his punches and letting this guy hang in there a lot longer than he should. Well, he's looking for that one shot, and he caught him with the left hook, and he hasn't dropped him yet. So he's looking for one shot. Instead of going back to jab, jab, see, one punch. You can't do that. He's got to explode, and he's waiting for one punch, let's say. And that's how he made it through the first round, holding and, and surviving. But, you know, you can't blame He's smart. It's, it's in my opinion, it's Davey who should have had him out early. Because what this guy, what, um, what Jackson's going to do, he's going to get more confident. Not that he has a chance yeah. of really maybe winning the fight. And, maybe. and he's protecting himself. So his hands are up, blocking that left hook. But his right hand has landed every time he's thrown it. But he, hasn't, he doesn't keep throwing it. He's got the long reach. Use that long reach and throw the straight long punches and keep the smaller guy away. He should stick to the basics and use the straight punches. You know, use his jab and load up his right hand. You know, he's just trying to load one punch. And one punch at the time is not going to be good for him. You know, and Davey is, Davey is clearly the bigger, stronger, faster fighter. So he can get off those combinations with no problem. Yeah, so he fought in March, so it's, he hasn't been laid off March, what, April, May? It's been only three, four months since he fought. So he doesn't have any ring rust. He should know better. I think, I think he's just anxious to get the knockout fast. But it won't hurt him to get some rounds in. But he's got to do the right thing in those rounds. He can't just go for one-punch knockout. Correct. I mean, the other guy's game, you know, he's trying to stick in there and, you know, angry with the bigger guy, but, you know... I don't, that doesn't seem like it's going to go the full distance. And uh, Davey just caught him with a really good right hand. And again, doing the right thing, Johnny Jackson held out for dear life. as Well, he should be. See, that's what he's he needs to do. He's gone back to throwing combinations. That's what he's got. The thing is, fighters listen to their corner for about the first 30 seconds. Right, he just got out of the corner and he's doing the what he's supposed to. Is, you listen to your corner for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then you go back to reverting it. He's got to stick with this the whole time. Correct. I agree with you. You know, that's his, uh, his uh, game plan. It should be the one, two. That's it. That's all he needs to do right there. Throw that jab. That's it. Perfect jab. Perfect. Again, that's it. And then when he's not expecting it, he doesn't need to throw to the body. He just has to throw that, that, that straight right hand, and he's going to catch him. If he keeps the distance out, the other guy can't even reach him. Yeah. He falls short. I mean, that kind of guy, what he's got to do, what, what Klitschko used to do. Oh, nice jab to the Absolutely. head there. With you, Another one. He's getting with that jab. Same, left hook. Same left hook he caught him with. He's got to stay composed. He's got to just stay calm. And he's got three national Golden Gloves championship. He should be able to do that. I agree with you. You know, the guy looks like, uh, like he has experience. And it's just a matter of time. You know, I don't think the other guy is going to stick there for long. One clean punch and that's it. I agree. But he's taking him with a couple left hooks. He's hit him and the guy did take him. Yeah. But I don't think if he gets him really good, especially with that right hand that looks like he can hit like that. But he, didn't, he caught him kind of flush, but he caught him moving back too. He hasn't caught him clean because he, he's been getting, uh, Jackson's been giving him pretty good movement for, for, uh, for a shorter guy.
Tiger's corner telling him the combinations. One, two, one, two. Telling you, but you know, the one thing that the one thing that Jackson's doing is he's not like he's a James Tony, but he's not catching him flush. He's moving. Even when he knows where his punch is coming, like 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 that, he moves with it. He did catch him pretty good. See? He gets out of the way. He he's got a very good sense of when those punches are coming. And it's very hard for Davy to catch him flush and clean without any movement. He's not surprising with any of his punches. He's pausing too much. He should throw his, uh, his jab, you know, a little bit more often. You know, he should stay busy. But, you know, Jackson saw that coming from across the ring. Round two in the books. Davy in complete control. Johnny Jackson doing just enough to survive. Uh, what do you think there, Drew? Yeah, I mean, I think Davey's doing a good job. I think, uh, you know, you can hear his coach yelling some things out, and you see every time the coach yells something out and he does it, it lands and it works. And, you know, you'd like to see him listen a little bit more, and I think he would have maybe ended this fight a little sooner, but, you know, overall, he's what still What about doing the ring girls, Drew? Sorry, we <laughs> Tom was distracted by the ring girls and he missed all the wonderful insights that the Drew shared with us. Just, just FYI, everyone, <laughs> Tom's eyes glazed over. <laughs> Tom, oh, yeah, yeah. Tom. When do we objectify men? What do I get? You got two guys beating each other up in front of you. How much more objectification do you need? <laughs> so what do you think? How do you think it's going, Francesca? Fair. <laughs> hey, the thing is going good for... Um, the guy who's winning. <laughs> <laughs> Round three, and here round. we go. If I'm, if I'm Davey in this round, I'm looking to end it right here. I'm, I'm not letting it go to the fourth round. I'm looking to put it out and get this, get this win and get out of here. But again, when this you is a six round end, fight, guys. That's when it's hard. When you try to end, you gotta just not go for yep. it. You gotta just stick with the game plan. Stick with the game plan, like they're telling him. Yeah, close with the hook when you do it. That's what he's telling him. Do the. But he's been able to take that hook pretty good. Yeah, that guy is a top guy. You know, he can take some uh, hard punches. You know, like I said before, his uh, his game. And now he knows that he's going to throw that left hook, so he's keeping. See, as soon as he threw that right hand, he put his right hand right back up, and he knows it's coming. He's showing it too much. He's trying too much. You think his corner's over, over making him overthink by by screaming too much? No, I don't think because if he would listen to his corner by now, you know, he would have a knockout. Those virtuoso boxing shoes are looking good, huh? Very nice. Brand new, blue, matches I know, the shorts. I just saw them kind of shining in the light there. Jackson, yeah, Jackson's awkward. He's, he might be short, but, you know, you can't just look at he's got a little belly there. He's a little, but, you know, he's taking the punch as well. You know, sometimes good people think movement, you have to look head like movement. A, That's probably about the 15th left hook that he's caught him with. And it does. He's not a very solid left hook. You know, he's a little bit sloppy with the left hook. And, and he's showing you know, it coming in a little bit. He's going to have to crisp that up. Nice jab, beautiful jab. Double up the jab and stick with the straight punches. Double up the jab and right hand. He's just waiting See, right for there the he did. Punch. He threw a straight right, but he missed because he and showed it just a little guy, much. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very seasoned. Very seasoned for a kid, you know. But he's got that experience. Beautiful jab. Throws it out there. He's not scoring. He's not scoring. He's waiting too much. It's too many pauses. Yeah. Well, he's looking for the, there you go, he's looking for the one shot. Yeah, yeah. Just, he should be them. able, he should be able to throw non-stop combinations. I think you can get him out of doing the round. He just boxes non-stop, just goes. Not one punch at a time. He's got to, he's got to, he's got to get his rate up. His punch rate's not where it should be for a guy like this. No, and his conditioning looks very good, so that's not very what's holding him back. Yeah, there you go, another right hand. Yep, he's trying. Nice left hook Beautiful followed by right, right hand. hand. And that's and probably all she wrote. We'll see if he'll make it out of the ring. Out of the round. Now he made it up. He's staggering. He stopped the fight. He stopped the fight. And Jackson not putting up much of a fight. We had a feeling he caught him with some nice 
We threw combination. And that's how he did it. Like you said, he threw the combinations and finally put him down. But it's the first time he actually threw some, some four or five punch combinations, and it worked. Yep. Amazing when you listen to your corner, huh? It's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Washington's a very durable guy. I mean, you got to hand it to him. He doesn't look like he's much in shape. Got a little belly on him. 200, what, 225 pounds? 15 pounds. But he held pretty good, took some good shots. And he got young, he got young in there, you know. He, he showed that he has something to give, you know. Well, there we go. Uh, Davey moves to six and two with five knockouts. And uh, Washington drops to Johnny one, three, Jackson. and no. John, John, Johnny Jackson. I got so much pay and anal analytics <laughs> over dinner. So. Saving the day again. <laughs> Looks like uh, Mr. Jackson is in his corner. He's more tired than he is hurt, it appears. Uh, nobody got hurt. Good fight. Exciting. Saw some good punches at ringside. You having fun already, Francesco? Or you wish you were back at the restaurant drinking no, wine? No, no, I'm happy to be here. I'm having a great time. Always having a great Ladies time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice restaurant. round of applause for both me. fighters, please. He's got the please. best food. And even better stories, boxing stories that you guys... Have to go listen to him Ladies in person. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Miami Airport Convention Center in Miami, Florida, your referee in charge, Alan A. Bellies, calls a halt to the bout at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO, Alvin Davey. Hometown boy, very happy. He doesn't look excited, but you know he's got to be happy that he got a nice win here. Got a couple rounds in the books, and um, we'll see what's...